Hello guys, I'm Ryan Beeman and welcome to Survival of the Student, the show by students, for students and featuring, you guessed it, students. We've got a great one for you lined up tonight, so let's meet our guests. Hi, I'm Will. I'm a first year film and TV student. I enjoy making films, playing video games, browsing memes and drinking chalky milk. Hi, I'm Hasid. I'm a first year student studying film and TV at the University of Hertfordshire. I enjoy playing sports, reading books and making films. Hi, my name is Matt. I'm 20. I'm a third year film student. I've worked in radio for about a decade and once interviewed Daniel Radcliffe. Also, I quite like vodka. Guys, great to have you on the show. First things first, have you ever had a hangover? I am hungover right now, if that answers your question. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Captain Hangover. Excellent. Also many, many hangovers, yes. Wonderful. You should be interested in this then. The first thing we've got you lined up for is uh, a collection of interesting hangover cures from around the world, okay? Um, the first one comes from Ireland. Um, they suggest that you should bury yourself, as you can see here, up to your neck in river sand, which I assume is a sand from a river, I suppose. What do we think of that? I mean, the Irish would know. True, they've got the expertise. But, no. It looks like something out of a horror film. Yeah, it, like, she's yeah. about to get eaten it's by a it scorpion. It seems dangerous. She's going to erupt from the sand. It, yeah, it seems, you need a friend to come along as well yeah. to help you out, so it seems a bit much. I don't think it would looks probably Looks quite cosy to fall asleep. Yeah, true, yeah. true. Um, the next one we've got is from a Native American tribe. Um, they suggest that you should go on a jog, first off. That's normal, but then it gets a bit weird. They also suggest that you then consume the sweat that you produce during that run. I mean, it's not the thought of drinking the sweat that upsets me the most in that one. Okay. But I don't want to jog. I don't like running either. I'm tired, I'm hungover. I'm not... Uh, even when I'm sober, I don't want to run. So you'd think. prefer to drink your own sweat than, than go for a jog in the If, it, if yes. it means I don't have to run. Okay. What do you th what do you cool. think here? I mean, the, the rum makes sense. The sweat drinking, not so much. I'm kind of confused as to why you'd prefer the the drinking of the sweat as opposed to the running. But, you know. Yeah. Yeah. See, see, Pretty sensible much. answer from Seed. Okay, you too. Weird, J weird. Okay. <sighs> well, speaking of drinking slash eating weird, unpleasant things. Um, we set you a task. We gave you one pound and we told, try and get the most wholesome meal you possibly could. So show me what we've got and uh, why. So the most wholesome food there is, pasta. Also, it's real, our pasta's back. The kilogram here, so that's breakfast. You can do anything with pasta. Cover it in tomato sauce, you've got your dinner. Cover it in custard, you've got your dessert. But you haven't bought the tomato or Ooh. custard. No, but, but I mean, not. theoretically, that's how no, I'm going to live. Honestly, I see what he's point. Will, what have you got? Come on. Well, I've gone for something more simple. I've got a, a pot noodle. It's the pinnacle of, of yeah. the student lifestyle. I've got a behemoth mammoth monster-sized bottle of lemonade. Stay hydrated. Share it about. And also got dessert. I got a bit of chocolate as well. And in, it, you can share it about if, if you have friends. Can I yeah. yours? No. <laughs> See what you got for us. Well, you know, I've gone for a few things. First of all, garlic bread. Multi-use, multi-talented. You've got garlic, you've got bread. Garlic bread. Okay. Next up, baked beans. Does what it says on the tin, really. Baked and beans. last but not least, got to mix it up a little bit. Sweet chilli dip. Okay, throwing that in. I'll have a twist on it. Um, I've got to make a decision on which one I think is best, and I'm going to go with Will on this one, simply because he managed to get two courses for a pound, whereas you two sort of just had a weird... Yeah, two bags of pasta doesn't count, so Will's going to win on this occasion, but you did great, lads. <laughs> so what do you do when you're at pre-drinks, you're a little bit drunk, and you realise you're, you're really hungry because you, know, you haven't eaten yet? Well, we found out. Hello, my name is Corey, um, and today I'm going to be cooking a pizza. Um, I'm a little bit drunk right now, so we're going to see how that goes. Uh, so some of the ingredients we've got this thin and crispy pizza base. We've got some delicious mature cheddar cheese, because no one likes the mild stuff. Um, we've got some thick cut chopped tomatoes, and then we've got some lovely delicious herbs. So as with any pizza, we're going to start with the base. We're only going to have one base. 
like you do with most pizzas, some delicious tomatoes. I don't know if the tomatoes are going to come out here. So, oh. <laughs> I don't have anything to spread these with. <laughs> Let's spread this around. Now the cheese. <laughs> um, we're just going to sort of crumble it on top. Spread it, in, spread it around nice and good so it melts perfectly. And then some of these delicious herbs. And now it just needs uh, an amount of time in the oven, probably 10 to 15 minutes. <laughs> well, I think he did pretty well there. Uh, I, I swear yeah. I saw him in a bush outside the nightclub the other night. Yeah, he looked quite drunk there, didn't he? Well, um, right, you're in that situation, guys. What are you cooking? Right, very simple. Block of cheese, fork, mm. stick it in, om nom 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 nom. Everyone around the party gets a nibble, and then you've still got something to put back in the, ba uh, back in the fridge you left over for when you get home. That's, that that's weird, it's just too cheese obsessed. Nibble my right. cheese. What would you uh, have? I'm gonna stick with cheese, but I was gonna say a cheese bagel, because okay. it's a bit more personal. Slightly classier, I get you. Um, I like keeping it simple, like Matt, uh, just some toast, maybe a bit of Nutella on it, or if I'm just feeling too drunk, just straight up bread. You know? Right, he's winning that one because it's simple and effective. Now on this show, we like to get students as involved as we can. So if you want to be on the show or have anything you'd like to see on the show, make sure you give us a ring on 02079 460 154 or find us online, just search Survival of the Student. We hope you've had a wonderful time, and I'd like to thank our three lovely guests once again, Matt, Will, and Hasid. No problem at all. And from all of us here at Survival of the Student, have a wonderful afternoon and an even better evening. And remember, liquor before beer, you're in the clear. Beer before liquor, never been sicker. Good night, guys.